Hi everybody, thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. So, um, I'm just back. I got, I was waylaid for three weeks because I, um, a couple of weeks ago broke my wrist and then had surgery. And I wanted to talk about my experience because, um, whenever we're faced with really intense adversity, it's the universe's way of saying, hello, I'm trying to get, or we're, or whatever, God, all that is, is trying to get you to pay attention to something. So, the first part in the series, I talked about listening to your intuition so you can avert problems like this and or challenges that aren't really necessary. And if you listen to intu your intuition, you'll listen to spirit and what spirit is trying to tell you. And secondly, and what I talked about last time was that when we don't listen to our intuition and then something terrible happens, like what happened to me, um, the point is the universe is trying to tell you something, right? And we got to listen to that message, right? And so the last, well, or the third part, because maybe I'll make it a four part, I'll, I'll decide, but the third part of this whole topic is when you're in and faced with challenges like this and they're really difficult because you can't do anything, you can't, your life is, uh, you know, turned upside down at least for a period of time. That's when you really look at your life and you say, okay, how did I get this far off track? I should have listened to spirit. I, I get the message now. But part of that is that while you're dealing with tragedy, it's so important to keep your head about you and your wits about you because that is the time when, and I kind of feel like, you know, we're in a spiritual war and there's all sorts of lower vibrational entities out there trying to bring the light workers down, whatever. I do believe that. And so I do believe that when you're going through these dark times, these challenging, challenging times, it's super important to stay positive, even when it's dark as night. And that can be super difficult because, for example, when I was recovering, I had to take hardcore narcotics. And I'm not a narcotics taker no matter what level of pain I'm in. But I tell you what, I never experienced anything like this level of pain. And my doctor was like, you're going to be in severe pain. I was like, oh yeah, I got it. It's no big deal. I've had a baby. Whatever. For real, it was way worse than having a baby. It was like somebody was sawing my arm off. And so I took the narcotics, but I'll tell you this. Not only was I engaging in relationship, a relationship and the behavior involved in that relationship that was highly toxic and depleting during my convalescence when I needed all my healing abilities and all the positive energy I could muster to heal, right? So that was a total poop show. But narcotics will take you down to the depths of despair. And they will fight you and fight your ability to stay positive because they're so much of a depressant. Now, I couldn't have gotten through this without those narcotics because the pain was so devastating. However, I had to really be strong and be clear that when I was dosing, it was for pain and not for some other escape type reason. Okay, so I was able to get myself off the dope, which is good. I'm able, I got rid of the toxic relationship so that I can take all of my energy and heal. It's only two and a half weeks since the incident and two weeks since surgery. And I have a lot of motion and I'm, I'm getting back in the saddle already. So the message today is to even when things seem so dark and bleak for whatever reason, you got to stay positive because that's when the risk is highest for really losing it and going off the rails into the swamp. Okay, so I'll continue next time with a number four, which is really assessing the whole picture and 
and being clear about the outcome and, and where you're going from there and where I'm going from here. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I pray that you all subscribe. I hope I can help. I'm um, now a member of Best American Psychics. So that's really super cool. And I can give anyone that subscribes a free one question reading if you message me. So thank you so much for looking and I hope this helps everybody and anybody that's out there. Please reach out to me if you need any help, information, information, inspiration, reading, whatever. I'm available. Okay.